A historic landmark downtown Pittsburgh church is dealing with a new demon. At the First Presbyterian Church, they say homeless and drug addicted people are sleeping, vandalizing, relieving themselves on the church steps. As Paul Martino reports, some community groups are working to move the homeless to make way for worshipers. For 245 years, the First Presbyterian Church of Pittsburgh has sat on this site on 6th Avenue. The landmark house of worship was built on land granted by William Penn's heirs. As you might imagine, church members have a lot of pride. If you could put a church any place in America today, you would put it right where we've been for 245 years, right in the middle of the, what many people say is the most livable city. But it's not livable for everyone. This is what greets Pastor Tom Hall on the front steps of his church every Sunday morning. Homeless people passed out, addicted, and worse. There was excrement, there's urine, there's um, needles, condoms. It's, it's really tough. Police and ambulances are called. The maintenance guy cleans up the mess. And then it happens all over again. And the church isn't alone. The, the stuff happens that happens here happens everywhere. It's all over town. And the low-level vandalism, the, the removal for intoxication or addiction or overdoses, it doesn't even generate reports. Community groups, including the downtown partnership, are trying to do something about it. They provide meals and shelter. Missionaries attempt to minister the homeless. They're going to try to find the people that are willing to go to shelters. They're going to try to find them shelters. But then they're also going to engage the bad actors and say, hey, you know, the police are coming. You need to leave now before you get arrested. Police recently nabbed a wanted felon here. Turns out he was a ringleader of this group. Now that he's in jail, the problem has lessened somewhat. But those homeless folks, they just end up somewhere else. Reporting downtown, Paul Martino, KDKA TV News.